Zim, I'm drinking. Yeah. Oh, good. But what I'm saying is, bro, we have a whole fucking, we have a fucking warehouse of niggas, nigga, that's supposed to be doing some shit. And they want to do some shit. They want to get excited. We just have to sell them on doing what the fuck they're supposed to be doing. And we can make this shit as big as we fucking want, nigga. This shit right here, like facts and fuckery, and then our music, we do music, we do whatever the fuck we want. You battle, nigga, you could be battling fucking murder move. You just gotta sell it. All about selling this shit. You know what I'm saying? I was thinking about that shit. I've been, even my man Carl asked me that. He's like, you know, facts could be getting some money over that shit. Like, you know, he's like, because he's, he's seen the shit, he's seen the aggression, he's seen like the energy, you know? It's all about selling the shit, bro. It's not even about working hard. None of that shit matters. None of that shit fucking matters, bro. The wackest niggas get the best opportunities. Why? Because they have the best promotion. That's all they know. They know better. They know better than the fucking guy that's working hard. I've done it. I've been the stupid guy working hard. Only in certain, like when it comes to music, like I'm like, oh shit, I gotta work hard. Like everything else, I'm not like that. I'm like, I'm realizing now, my older age, I'm like, yo, fuck, am I not applying that thought I had to this? It's stupid for me to think that way when I think this way about this. The fuck am I doing? Working all hard and shit, trying to be a fucking slave with some shit I'm talented in. But some shit I'm not talented in, I'm gonna go the easiest route. Cause I'm like, I don't fucking do this shit, nigga. I'm just playing around. I'm trying to get some bread. But like, when it comes to the talent, I'm like, no, nigga, I'm gonna fucking be fucking motivated and I'm gonna work hard and I'm gonna be in the studio all night, nigga. I'm gonna fucking sleep and dream this music shit. And I'm gonna eat this shit. And that's not even who I am outside of that. Like, that's crazy. It's crazy, bro. Like, I've been doing this shit my whole life and running in place because I'm being a person I'm not inside of music. Like, I'm not realizing, like, oh, it's business. This is really that, I'm really that good. The fuck am I doing? Like, niggas been telling me, like, yeah. Yeah, thank you. You have a uh, toothpick? Yeah. Oh, right here. Yeah. I like the juice a lot, it's good. It's like homemade. Yeah, and they're always fresh. Yeah, mm -hmm. <laughs> I can taste it. Makes a difference. I right, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, you too. <clears throat> yeah. <clears throat> so I think um, what I like to do is go for a morning workout every morning. And then, um, after the workout, I'll go stop by the taco spot and I'll get uh, tacos. But lately, my lady, she's a vegetarian, so I've been getting juices. You know, healthy juices and shit. And healthy makes a difference because your body feels lighter and you feel like you're gonna live longer and you're not gonna die from eating dead animals. I feel good about myself. Thirty one eighty five. She got the uh she got the she got the vlog is bright popping. What's going on? Oh I like that. Yeah, that shit is hard. Yeah, that shit is hard. Is that, a, is that through a case? Yeah. You might have to get that, son. It's kinda hard. You don't sound like you from you sound like you from Baltimore. Everybody she, say I have she, Where are you from? from? She's from, from Riverside. Baltimore. You sound like you from Baltimore, from Maryland. You sound That's like, crazy. You sound like my homegirl from Baltimore. I don't sound like I'm from Riverside. Nah, hell no. Nah. You sound like you from New That's York crazy. or Baltimore. You sound New like, York? You sound I like wish. From Baltimore. I got a homegirl from Baltimore. It's crazy as fuck. Like literally, if I like, if I ever had any smoke, yeah, I'm not calling no nigga. Yeah, I'm not calling no cousin. Yeah, I'm not calling no. I'm calling her. Keith. 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 Keith.
Keish, Keish. Call him Keish. I know a couple of Keish. I know a Keisha from Baltimore nigga that, that lives out here that will that will that will burn the block. One of my best Keisha. She'll bring a flamethrower through from the board. Yeah. yeah. Elon Musk, you know what she went and bought for her birthday? Yeah. So Elon Musk has something like, where you can buy a flamethrower. Like yeah. yeah. Is to come up with a bunch of ways and reasons for human minds to ask. Why am I afraid to die when everybody's going to die anyway? <sighs> What's the fear? It's coming in. So like Les Brown says, one thing about life, nobody's going to get out of it alive. He did say that. I know. So you might as well have a blast while you're here. Now that is what kings do not want people to think. Because people that think like that become kings. And there's only one king in the kingdom. So it sounds like the king might have wanted you to have a fair death. See, it is too easy when I know the answers. Yeah. Who wanted you to have a fair death? Jeremiah, this is one last cold part. I don't want to do this to you, but there's a movie about it, and you just actually brought it to my attention. Did you see the new Sandra Bullock movie on Netflix? No. Oh, uh, Bird Box? Yes. Yeah. Bird Box. Ah! Now that movie didn't have any birds in it, did it? You gotta not give a fuck. Your energy just has to be like, I know my purpose, and I know what the fuck I'm about to do. It's about to happen. It's about to 100%. I'm going to execute whatever the fuck comes into my mind. And even if I don't execute it, I'm good with that. If you're not good with that, then just give it up. Exactly. It's not for you. One Some life shit. to live, you might as well just do what you got to do. Do what you love to do. Love what you want to do. If that makes sense, then you know, you know, you know. If not, fuck you. Keep it real. And that's a facts and fuckery way.